I'm Josh Jenkins, and this is The Vault, where we unlock, decode, and share God's information. All right, let, let, me, let me pose this question as we get into this conversation tonight. Um, I think that in our world today, uh, we're in a pandemic, clearly. Um, we're in a world with racial tension, social injustice. It's a lot of clouds going on here right now, right? What is religion to you right now? Let's just, let's go there. What is religion to you right now? Take a moment now, you know. Now more so than before, I guess, with the pandemic, I look at religion like learned behavior. My name is Nathaniel Brent Thomas, also known as Motivate with Nate. I'm 33 years old, and I've been working with the youth for the past 13 years. Learn behavior. Learn behavior. And, and I really kind of despise the traditions of church because, like, when you look at it, a lot of the stuff that happens every, on a, like, on your average church on a Sunday morning, I just get a picture of that being so far away from what Jesus actually was. You mm. know what I mean? True. So, like, some things about, like, for instance, if I walk into church, I hate for the first thing you tell me to do is take my hat off. <laughs> Man, why doesn't church make people just feel like, come on in my house? If somebody comes to visit my house and I open the door and they step in two steps, my first thing ain't going to be, hey, take your hat off. So why, why do we do that in church? Can you stay right there, <laughs> yeah, though? Yeah. I got a story about my hat in church. Yeah. Like I have my hat on right now, whatever the case. I was coming to church one day. I was This was a couple years ago. I was with my wife, and I had my son in the, in the uh, car seat, mm -hmm. and I had his baby bag on my shoulder. I'm walking into our church, like mm -hmm. the church that I had been going for for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as I'm walking in with my hat on and my baby in my hand, uh, Usher grabs my arm like this. No God. Like look at me, like like no like God. child, like yeah, like little yeah, kid. Yeah. He grabs my arm like this, and I look at him, and he says, "Take your hat off." <laughs> I'd be like fired. So, yeah. <laughs> in that moment, in that moment, <laughs> I got because my thing is like, does it? Take you don't know me. Off. You don't know right. me. And that's right. my problem. Right. Is the hat? Does that? Right. Will the hat stop my spirit from going to right. heaven? Like it's I get it. It's right. supposed to be a respectful thing, and I yeah. understand it. But is that and more important right. than you don't know me? So go ahead. I'm sorry. I had, I had the energy. But no. Nah, but that's where I'm at. Like so, the traditions of church would say, take your hat off when you walk. Like is that's blocking my blessing? Like God doesn't love me the same if I got my hat on. Like. It's cold outside, bro. Right. Like that's right. why I got my hat on. I want to get to my seat when I get there. I'm gonna get comfortable, get set up, get adjusted. Yeah. But you don't know what kind of day I had. You don't know if I just got fired. You don't know if I, I have zero dollars in my bank account. You don't know anything. Yeah. But the first thing, because tradition has taught you, don't wear a church and hat. The only thing you got to say to me when I walked in, the, obviously looking for something. Right. I walked in here. The only thing you got to say to me is take your hat off. Now praise the Lord. Now how you doing? Well, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's a tradition. I'm good off of the pandemic. I mm -hmm. think for me, my view on religion was before the pandemic. Like I see religion as a preference. When you get a, a application or something, it says religion, check one, Christian, mm -hmm. uh, Catholic, right. whatever. Right. And like you said, it's the tradition. I am Jernay Adele Chase, but to my family and friends, I am Nene, and to my son, I am mommy, what you doing? <laughs> I'm 31. And I currently manage radio contracts for the Associated Press. However, comma, I am a content creator. For me, um, I feel like the pandemic has completely demolished like religion as I know it. Mm. Um, my name is Andre Crouch, and um, I'm 25 years old, and I'm a young adult pastor at my church. Things that we've done religiously, like going to church on Sunday religiously, going to Bible study religiously, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, the pandemic has, like, changed all that. You know, we can't do those things anymore. It's literally deadly, <laughs> you know, to go to church and be around people. So um, now we've had to learn how to get in the presence of God and commune with God and worship um, in a different way, you know, virtually now. And it's kind of, it's, it's really different. And it's, at first it was real scary and, you know, very uncomfortable. So still I'm adjusting to it, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. I noticed that specifically in the U.S., we try to implement a forced relationship with God through law. Mm. When Jesus specifically came to, like we were talking about earlier, to fulfill that, to supersede that. So if we're trying to say, or we're trying to, basically we're condemning people to hell by their behavior 
based off of a relationship that they have no idea what it's about. Okay, my name is Asia, I'm 23 years old, and I'm a filmmaker and digital media content creator. I became more intentional just about holding ourselves accountable, ourselves meaning people who are self-proclaimed believers in Christ and the gospel, and being like, you can't be surprised when people say, I don't want to go to church, or I don't want to do anything, right. I don't want anything to do with God. Look at how we've used it. Look at how we've said, yes, you are free to believe what you want. God is a gentleman. He will not force yourself, he will not force himself upon you, and then say, oh, but yeah, no, you can't do that. Mm. Yeah, no, wear this. Don't come to my church looking like this. Oh, mm. actually, no, don't say that. We've tried to approach sin and unrighteousness with a law that has been fulfilled by Jesus. And if we continue to use a law to get people to do what we want, that's nothing more than another type of dictatorship to a lot of people. We are trying to ease people into a relationship through conviction. And you don't know the person. You don't, you don't know their life. You don't know their story. You don't know what they go home to. And we don't take the time to build relationships with these people. And then we have the nerve to say, no one's coming to church. I don't even want to go to church. Mm -hmm. Because of people like me, people like you, people who don't love other people so um i whenever people have something to say either oh uh, all churches are the same there is a truth to that statement because we we pride ourselves on the legality of all these rules and everything that we have to follow and then have the nerve to be like we're being persecuted no you're being held accountable wow. that's what you're doing yeah. so yeah, that's real yeah i guess it sounds like that the the view of religion in most, in a lot of cases, is not necessarily just total religious behavior or practices, because in a sense, that's what religion is. It's it's a belief, it's a strong belief, yeah. and practices, and oh yeah, and stuff that you that you do because you believe. And so, it sounds like that a lot of people have problem with church and not religion, mm -hmm. right? Is there a difference between church and religion? That's a, that's a loaded question, I know. But is there a difference between church and religion? Because you might not necessarily, people, you know, I heard somebody say to me the other day, I love God, but I'm not religious, y'all. I don't go to church. Does that mean that you're not religious because you don't go to church? Or, or uh, could you, could you uh, not go to church and still be religious? Is, is that a so? You can be religious about anything. You can yeah. be right. It's just a consistency. Yeah. Right. I religiously yeah. beat my right. face. Right. I religiously right. yeah. buy shoes. Yeah. I really, you know, yeah. I, I think a lot of people get it messed up because, or twisted, if you will. Mm -hmm. Some churches have church law. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not, you know, mm -hmm. religion and church law are two different things. Mm -hmm. I can wear earrings if I want to. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's church law. I, I don't have to wear a skirt down to my toes to be saved right. <laughs> that's the church law and i think that's what like a lot of millennials mm -hmm. that's why they don't go to church because you have church law no i think i think the uh part of the biggest disconnect <laughs> is millennials and younger people we like stuff quick too we do um yeah i i call it the microwave generation yeah. because we want stuff in an instant um and church take a long time sometimes for no reason because of the, the tradition so like honestly if I can roll over and I can look at uh, Stephen Furtick or Michael Todd or something like that and catch that 30 minutes from my phone real quick before I even really get up out of bed like why why am I about to get dressed and go and sit in a service forever battle some traffic depending on how big the church is right. like half my day be gone where literally I can be getting just as good a sermon mm. while I'm cooking some eggs in my drawers you know what I'm saying like but don't you but don't y'all feel like I think that you know in the Bible if we could like right now I think we have been forced to be in a posture where we're forced to be in a posture where we can't come together right but I do think that there is I mean y'all tell me I do think that there is something about coming together, I love fellowship, yeah. to worship together. And I, I mean, I, I can, I get what you're saying, like, you know. I just don't, I, I don't think that coming together, like, it's important, but that doesn't define, that doesn't make religion. Or, 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 or the fact that we came together isn't like a plus for the religion. Like, for instance, 
in the bike club, guy just got hit by a motorcycle and can't do for himself. So we have a bike club, by the way. Yeah, my bad. We're both pushing pedals. I see you on Instagram a lot. He's like, but but the guys got hit by the motorcycle. We don't know who believes in what. We don't know whose religion is what in the bike club. But everybody came together and, and made sure that they have food, mm -hmm. breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. Make sure you grocery run, store run, whatever you need. We all came together. We didn't gather in right. one space, but right. we came together. Mm -hmm. and, and through that, God's love was shown. The mm -hmm. love your neighbor as you love yourself. Like All, all those different things were shown. And, and I look at that like... God is very pleased with what we just did. We didn't gather. We didn't come together. We didn't have a church service. We didn't have a sermon and a benediction. We didn't have an offering. We didn't have any of that. But I believe that what we what we did was God ordained and God designed. And I believe we reflected the love of Jesus Christ. Mm, that's good. I, I, I was in agreement. Yeah. I think it's all about agreement, not just predicating on gathering. Yeah. And I think this whole pandemic is God's way of just showing us like your gathering is important, but it's not the foundation. Of mm. your relationship, it's just with a me. part. Good. It's a part of it. I agree, but it, it shouldn't be the foundation. The foundation, yeah. that's that's important. Yeah. You don't got nothing without foundation. Because your big, your, I agree. Your, your biggest battles ain't really fought with a lot of people anyway. In my opinion, I, I believe that my my biggest battles, are, I'm by myself by and yourself? I'm duke, and like I'm I'm in a corner. I'm in a room, whether that be boo, whatever that looks like. Whether mm. I'm angry, whether I'm, my my biggest battles, my biggest struggles that I've. Of course, I've had some people that I can. Hey man, I'm going through. Pray for me, but 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 when you stand in there, you're, my biggest battle. It ain't a gathering. Mm -hmm. So my relationship, I can't say that my 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 love for God is based on religion and gathering and stuff like that. Because when God is putting me through my biggest test, it's nobody but me, and God is saying, "Am I going to depend on Him?" So let me ask y'all that question. Let me pose that question then. Are there, do you feel like there are too many rules yes. yeah. for Christianity? Yes. yes. Yeah. Too many rules for Christianity?